Hello everyone, it's the Grand Strategy Nerd bringing you another episode of The Empire of Freedom. So I have turned off the day-night graphic as uh, one, of the, one of the subs, Lord Dawn, said that that's probably going to help in the lag issues. So we'll see if that works and thank you again for helping me out. I don't know, you know I'm always confused. I think it's because I have an 840 mobile version of NVIDIA's GPU. But I'm always always amazed that uh, games don't run as well as they should on my laptop. But oh well, you know, this is what I could afford. But no matter about that, let's let's get into playing the game. I we'll already started this up. Researching quite a good bit of stuff here. We're now finally getting into the 1936 battleship as we're pretty pretty far behind on this stuff with the our naval capacities. Naval capacity. And once again just waiting. I always see this 29 and I'm always I mean, everything's going to the reserve fleet, which I guess is okay. I guess just in my head it says reserve fleet, which means don't use it unless we have to. We're patrolling out here. Um, I wish there was a way to show what what fleets needed to come in for repairs. Looks like we're a bit low on infantry equipment, but that should be solved soon. And our supply equipment, well, that's at reduced rate. Is that a reduced rate? No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of my Mexico playthrough. Yeah, that's that's fine. We have plenty of everything. I don't think we're lagging behind in anything. Nope. All right, we're creating the Sea Gladiator. Creating a lot of those for our carrier fleets, and we are building. We're building. One every 1.2 years. Uh, we need a lot to bring it up into two a year. Well, see, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, okay. I gotcha. So, I think we can... We can, can we devote? No, we can't. Okay. Um... Well, see, why would that drop it to one... That's really weird. One and I don't know what that that's that's odd to me. Alright, modify our government. I don't think we need limited conscription. Do we need should we do early? Yeah, we'll do early mobilization. So that uh, construction speed goes down of our factories. But that does give us more. I think that. Oh, I forget what that does. Oh man, what a horrible playthrough! I don't even know what I just did. What the hell? Like, wow, that was stupid of me. Consumer goods factory is twenty-five percent. I was at civilian. Okay, so it just reduces by five percent the number of civilian factories I can have. Yeah, I'm thinking Germany should start doing something here soon. What the hell is... What are they doing? Are they just moving back and forth and taking them away? I don't, I don't know what those two are doing. Don't we have radar being built here soon? Yeah, that's going to take a little bit of time, though. We have quite a bit of factories. Oh, good! Synthetic oil is done. We can start creating that for ourselves. Because we import... A good bit. Let's go to naval and we'll start researching the Ark Royal the Ark Royal class of a carrier. I think that'll help us out a lot. And this I'm waiting on we have Marines. I still don't want to train anyone because we have we have low manpower. 
So we need to keep that low or else our divisions won't be able to reinforce. And let's check. Ah, good. King George class is now done. So we can move on to... This is 1940. Let's move on to the Surrey class. Heavy cruiser. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll start researching the Surrey class. But then we need to look at, what are we... We need to start building the King George class. And we don't have that many dockyards to do it. I guess I should have invested in some of those. King George battleship, yep. So we need to take some away, do that, and that'll severely limit those, but look at that, man, that's not a lot. That is not going very fast. In five years, we'll be able to create a battleship. So I guess... Well, we need to start building synthetic refineries, too. And we will build them here in Aberdeenshire and the Scottish Highlands. All right, we just got more military factory, so that's good. Um... Let's bring this all the way to the top. We'll do it that way. There we go. That way we can start uh, producing some of that. Uh, some oil on our own. Oh, okay. Stuff's happening. Japanese buildup on Chinese border. Following the Marco Polo Bridge incident, Japan has not let down their pressure on the Chinese border. In conjunction with aggressive Japanese rhetoric, speaking of terrible retaliation for China's refusal to cooperate, a renewed war between Japan and China seems more and more likely by the day. The diplomatic situation will soon reach a boiling point, and Japan has expressed no interest in diffusing the situation. Conflict is worrying. Oh, good, we got general rearmament, which gives us um, consumer goods factories another minus five. Naval rearmament. Ooh, good. More dockyards. Shadow scheme. Um, gain national spirit wartime industry, which grants civilian to military conversion rate. That's going to give us air experience, the air defense. And let's focus on naval rearmament. And then go into here. Yep, Japan declared war on China. We had some tactical bombers. We need a bit of those. Um, we need a lot more fighters, though. So we'll deal with that first. And we only had one one factory to give. Right? Or do we have two? No, I guess we had two. All right. So I guess we'll give the other one to the tactical bomber then. Alrighty. Okay, we're constructing all that. This is going to be done in 67 days. It should be before the end of the year, I think. Alright, still just checking here. I, I don't like how they don't gain experience. Like, they have to be in battle to gain experience? That doesn't mean they're patrolling. They should be gaining experience that way. Let's take a look again. Just make sure everyone does not need training. It'd be alright if they did. I mean, at least we're getting that uh, 5 hundredths of a point um, every day for army experience from our 
our military counselor. So that is good. I mean, that's helping bump it up every... A lot. I can't do that math in my head. <laughs> we have units here? We do have units here. Oh, gladiator? Okay, we don't need those. The Nimrod, we don't really care. Oh, these are all interwar fighters. Well, I guess we'll send them here. All right, and put them over here. Yeah, Middle East kind of getting the shaft on that, getting the old, getting the old equipment. But at least it's out there now. We still have no template for towed artillery, but we're, at least we're creating a lot. How many do we have? We have 1,400 units, so we're continuing to produce three a day. So that's good. I mean, when, when we finally do create our our divisions, at least they'll be able to have those in in the warehouse. Well, why don't we explore our national tree here, see what else we can do. Royal Tank Regiment gives a bonus to armor tech. That's good. Is that all it does? Yes. All right. And then we need to look at developing the rest of the our commonwealth. And then we could coerce Spain. I don't think we need home defense yet. Um, that may be the next one. We'll try to do that as it does um, in game with what's happening. Well, what's happening within the game. Protect the Suez or fortify Malta. We'll look at those two coming up soon. British austerity. Good, good. You know, it's kind of just waiting around here for stuff to happen with with Britain. I guess we'll turn it up here a little bit, see what uh, see what that brings about. Let's see if any of these fleets need anything. Oh wait, we just did that one. <laughs> or three destroyers. Don't really have a lot of men down here. I don't think we need to move a lot of men. But why don't we move? No, I'll keep them there. And then we have the cav in Alexandria. We move them up to Alexandria as well. We'll keep them down here. We'll bring both forces up together. Wow, South Africa has a lot of units. Like a lot of units. That's really weird. See, I have a lot of like spread out units. And I don't think I can can't get from there to here. Okay. We just have two ships, two subs hanging out there. Is this mine? Yeah, it is. Gambia. And there's my Gibraltar fleet. Okay. Well, this doesn't even go fast when you have it on fast. Well, I guess it is. I guess it was in 39 that the Reich did stuff. Uh, Italy announces claim on Yugoslavian territory. Speaking of the Italian populations along the Dalmatian coast, Benito Mussolini has announced that Italy fully considers Italian-speaking territory in Yugoslavia to be the rightful part of Italy. An official statement backed up the claims, making it clear that Italy is prepared to take the territory by force if needed. Alright, got that. Now why do we have insufficient resources all of a sudden? Oil. Well, we're almost done doing that, so that's fine. Alright. Ooh. Two times research bonuses for ships. That's actually really good. 
Mm-hmm. Why don't we look at... Well, that's not going to help us. It just helps South Africa. Wait, and all these help... Oh, this isn't helping us. It's helping the other... It's helping the other countries. Whoops. I read that wrong. But this will clear up stuff for us. Um, and then we get research bonuses from there. Why don't we do Naval Doctrine or Destroyer Models? Why don't we do that one? Roll the Waves. Alright, now we'll have free dockyards. And that's probably what's taking it up. Yeah, look at that. So that's going to slow down our carriers. By a lot. That's a lot of oil we need that we're not producing. Field hospital is done. It should be everything. Uh, that's 1939, so we don't need to do that. 1938, well, we'll start... Yeah, we'll start on this. It's not that far behind. We're almost, it's almost going to be 1938, so... The head, the head penalty isn't that bad. We still have... Well, I don't have the, I don't have the oil for the dockyards. Uh, I was just lamenting the fact we didn't have enough dockyards and now we don't even have the oil. But we will soon. I forget how much this produces. Yeah, okay, five oil and five rubber. So that's good. Tank designer. Let's see what kind of political advisor we can do. Dockyard, military factory construction. We can get some more political power. And go with industrial or electronics research time reduced. Actually, I think we might go with capital ships, get armor, and the whole naval research time. And so I gotta read through these, see what we got here. Max ranges go up with Harlot and Wolf. John Brown and Company. Production size, production goes down, but it makes the ship smaller. Escort fleet. The max range sub detection. I think we're going to go with an Atlantic fleet here. Armor and naval power. So that'll help with research. Yeah, that, that cut it down a good bit. So that is, that's exactly what we needed. Uh, free military factories. Now we're cruising along. No more oil shortages. Let's see if we go down here. Yeah, oh good. How, how much oil? Okay, now we're at the most for oil. So let's build some more. Here in North Ireland. And... Can't really build it there. And then... There. Good construction. That's excellent. Right, I'm going to boost one of these to the top. Uh, we really need to focus on construction here. I know. Thank you. Um, do that. Uh, takes one less. Oh no! I'll take the same. Oh, that's because it's it's gaining it. Resource gain efficiency up ten percent. Why don't we do that first? I know the construction speed would help, but I feel like we need to get the most out of what we have. 
So we should go for that. Okay, we have military factories to distribute. All right, we're now running out of oil. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm building the refinery. Make sure we get that going. And I don't know about all these fleets being out here. I don't really have that many battleships. We have a carrier out here. Um, hold. Okay, that's not helping. Anschluss of Austria after a successful. Whoa, hey, slow down. After a successful coup d'état by the local Nazi party in Vienna, German troops have crossed the Austrian border and taken control of the company of the country. No fighting has been reported, and German soldiers were greeted by cheering crowds in the cities. In a speech before a massive crowd at the Heldenplatz in Vienna, Hitler announced, Hitler announced the Anschluss of Austria, annexing the country into Germany. The oldest eastern province of the German people shall be, from this point on, the newest bastion of the German Reich. Violation of the Versailles Treaty. We're not really doing anything. Um, Alright, we got that bonus. Should we focus on carriers? Hmm. Shadow scheme. Why don't we go with air defense? Because this radar tech. Uh, we need to focus on armor too, we don't have that. Let's go with air rearmament so that we can get those those points to air experience. And we're creating a new how far along are we with the battleship? Oh, almost. Oh no wait. Wait a second. Am I creating two battleships? I am creating two battleships. Whoops. Um, okay. Uh, let me think here. Next complete. 20, no, we're going to cancel that line. And what we're going to do is make a variant of the King George class. And I know we're running over, but bear with me here. Armor and gun or reliability goes down, but not by that much. Oh, it's just a little too expensive. I can only do one. I thought I could do two. Reliability reduces the max range. I think making a variant will be good. Eighty-six days of production. Mm hmm. Oh man, that's a tough call. We already have a light cruiser, destroyer, carrier. We're making the Mark One of that. Ah, uh, damn, that's hard. That's a hard decision here. Let's just start creating the Mark II. All right, we're going to start running. Okay, we're already running out of oil. So I have four naval dockyards, though. We'll draw that back, bring that up. Yeah, I know, I know. So now we're down to what? Four, which we're going to get when this constructs in April. So good, okay. Alrighty, well we will stop it there. So we had the Anschluss of Austria occur, which means next will be the Sudetenland, and slowly, slowly trudging on towards war with the German Reich. 
Well, thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Empire of Freedom. If you liked it, go ahead and click on that thumbs up. Let's me know that I did a good job and we'll see more videos for this series. Go ahead and share this around the internet wherever you want to. Bring in more people. Let them know how cool I am and how cool this series is. And if you have not yet, and this is your first time, you can click on the red subscribe button either below this episode or at the end of it. it Let's me know that I'm doing a great job and you want to see more Grand Strategy games from me, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Until next time, everyone, good night and good luck.